chapter one. Dropping out of medical school at this stage was not an option. Coming to campus today for the first time since I lost my father was so disturbing. I went out there to sob, away from everyone, especially my boyfriend. It is obvious to me that I need to sacrifice my virtue for my family and my education. My procurer is the grand master of corruption. I secured my retirement place in Paris from my court. Well, not that straight court. It was a cocktail of deals that entailed buying six rogues, their first foreign assets, and splitting the cost of mine among them. I drove out there to celebrate the acquisition. Celebrate? In that lonely wilderness? One of my quirks. Dark, abandoned places remind me of where I came from, so I don't get complacent. I saw you when I was speeding towards the river. A speeding car with full lights swept past you and you obviously did not notice. When I was coming back, you were still very lost in your sorrow. To my surprise, I could not just speed away. I waited until you saw me and so on. I think this is silly, but if you are so rich, why are you in school? And why Liberty University? Why not simply employ lawyers? <laughs> Employing a thousand lawyers will not make me a lawyer. It was my father's last wish that I should be a barrister. Also, my first step towards rewriting my own history. And Liberty University is slightly off the radar for junk journalists. It is away from Lagos, Port Harcourt, and Kaduna, where I am too well known to achieve this goal. You could have schooled in Europe or America. Four years away from my gold mines? Are you kidding? You have gold mines? Men in power, honey. They are my gold mines. No place on earth quite like our country. They are men here with uncensored access to the national treasury. You can't be more generous than a man who's dishing out boundless booty. Booty for booty, you know. Do you attend lectures? I have met the minimum requirements for attendance so far. I sometimes pay for lecturers by phone. I flew back from Paris to make sure I catch my lectures tomorrow. What a life. I have never dreamt of this kind of life. When you said you were a prostitute, I thought you were pulling my legs. After law school, I will be a barrister, and it could be actionable to call me a prostitute. But right now, despite my wealth, the men load their artilleries when they come to me. They know I am a prostitute. I encourage them to see me as one. It sets them free, you see, inflames them. I like the tag because they obviously prefer slots to their wives. I have been quite fortunate with genetics and a visionary procurer like Chief. I have made a fortune. Fame and all that myth came from the company I keep. Making a fortune from male rascality requires a smart brain behind a beautiful face. 
and a legit insider like chief as my pin. I have made much more from influence trading, fundraising, money laundering than from parting my limbs. Millions from creating assets for big businesses, both legal and barely legal. All these doors will slam shut the day I stop being a honeypot. My ace is making my praise feel like predators. My leverage comes from Chief. Chief who? Chief Frederick Aswani. Everyone calls him Chief. Everyone. He taught me how to fish for bone-free fishes. Chief can make a hen lay eggs and hatch elephants. He is the best ally a beautiful woman and a man in power can have in a corrupt country. For instance, before the enactment decree 6 of 1976, the blueprint for the relocation of the federal capital from Lagos to Abuja, Chief acquired land in Abuja for peanuts. After the decree, we got contracts to build roads, houses, hospitals, and sold the contracts for cool money without lifting a finger. We sometimes got people in charge to sign documents claiming that roads that were never started have been completed and approved. Everyone gets his or her beat and smiles to the bank. Chief is a genius at designing treasury fraud and milking economies. Once you grab power, he throws one of his irresistible parties and leaves schemes on your table that even angels cannot let pass. Clever schemes that are foolproof and totally bone free. I have properties in Maitama, Asokoro, and other areas which Chief has predicted. We appreciate incredibly when the federal government eventually moves to Abuja. Money is flowing in that direction, and we are right in on the flow. Chief knows the shape of things to come. He makes millions from these insights and disclosures. Before there was any clue that Naira would tumble from two dollars for one Naira, Chief called me one night to start buying up dollars. We bought any dollar inside. One dollar is now being sold for four Naira. Chief says that the four has only just begun. He is as patient as a vulture. 